The International Criminal Court, based in The Hague, has issued arrest warrants for former Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and current Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces Valery Gerasimov in connection with the commission of war crimes during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The official website of the International Criminal Court reports this. As the report notes, there are reasonable grounds to believe that Shoigu and Gerasimov bear individual criminal responsibility for war crimes committed by the Russian army in Ukraine, attacks on civilian objects, causing excessive incidental harm to civilians or civilian objects, crimes against humanity in the form of inhumane actions. There are reasonable grounds to believe that the two suspects are responsible for Russian military missile attacks on Ukrainian electrical infrastructure from at least October 10, 2022 to at least March 9, 2023. During this time, in addition, Russian military forces carried out large numbers of attacks on numerous power plants and substations in many places in Ukraine, the report said. The Office of the President of Ukraine has already responded to the International Criminal Court decision. Shoigu and Gerasimov bear individual responsibility. An important decision. Everyone will be responsible for evil, wrote the head of Zelensky's office Andrei Ermak in Telegram. Verkhovna Rada Commissioner for Human Rights Dmitry Lubinitz congratulated the International Criminal Court decision. Justice for Ukraine is becoming more and more real. This is a very important decision for us. Sooner or later, fair punishment will overtake every war criminal. Only through joint efforts can we speed this up, he emphasized. Ukrainian Sea Baby drones of the Ukrainian army installed more than 15 underwater mines near Crimea, thus hitting four Russian warships. These are the corvette Samum, the patrol boat Pavel Derzhavin, a large tugboat and one of two modern mine countermeasures ships. After the first use of naval drones, the Russians built large barriers at the entrance to the port in Sevastopol, which made it almost impossible to carry out drone strikes. Therefore, the team of Ukrainian intelligence head Vasily Malik came up with an alternative option, installing sea mines, says a Wall Street Journal article about the work of naval SBU Sea Baby drones. The so-called bottom mines are made of plastic, weigh about 180 kilograms and are difficult to detect because they sink into the mud of shallow waters. According to Wall Street Journal, the Ukrainian intelligence tracked the routes of naval ships and civilian transport for a month and a half before sending Sea Baby to plant two mines. On September 14, the Sama missile corvette was blown up by one of the mines that made a hole in its stern. As a result, the ship is still in dry dock undergoing repairs. Over the next few weeks, Sea Baby traveled back and forth, covering more than 3,000 nautical miles, laying about 15 more mines, the newspaper writes. For a long time the Russians could not understand what was going on, but after the large patrol boat Pavel Derzhavin pierced the side at the entrance to Sevastopol Bay on October 11, minesweepers and divers combed the area for mines, but apparently found nothing, since October 13, Pavel Derzhavin was redirected to another port for repairs, but when leaving Sevastopol Bay, it again encountered a mine. A large tugboat sent to rescue him also hit a mine, and he himself had to be towed back to port. According to the Wall Street Journal, remote mining carried out by SBU Sea Baby drones is the first example of such successful mining in the world.